morning. So, started making videos last night for this new channel. And this is a bit of an instructional slash my opinion video. And uh, the one thing that I wanted to talk about was on my previous page, I had talked about the people in Walmart and how many people were carrying guns, and I had mentioned that I was a gun owner. Now, again, this is my opinion. Everyone should be made to take a hunter safety course, or at least a firearm safety course. I myself have had two close quarter combat courses and scored high in proficiency. And I've also taken one um, concealed weapons class. I've also was raised in the military, so I was around weapons and firearms all my life. And then I was in the Boy Scouts and until I was the age of 15, which I learned proficiency in rifles, pistols, archery, knife safety, hatchets, you name it. So I have been trained in weapons. I'm not some sort of assassin or whatever, no. I don't even think of myself like that. I'm not a military person. I haven't been trained. I haven't been to war. But I was smart enough to know that if I'm going to be in trouble inside of a home, I should be prepared and know how to properly use it so no one gets hurt. Now, everybody should know how to load and unload a firearm. Now, I myself carry a couple of different types. This here is a 9mm. Now, it is important to know how to properly take and disarm a weapon to render it safe. Now, I'm not saying everybody should know how to shoot proficiently or whatever, because some people just don't like guns. A prime example is my children. My children, I train how to use weapons. But I also, the big thing I train them to do is how to properly store and unload firearms. Now, when this one is unloaded, I keep it with a cable lock through the barrel. All my other weapons have trigger locks. So even though they may be able to load them, they cannot fire them because I have rendered them safe. Now, with that in mind, Two of my kids are extremely interested in firearms. They want to know how to use them. They want to go shooting. They want to do all this. But I have a third son who absolutely does not like to even touch them. But I have trained him, even though he didn't like it. And I explained to him, you don't have to touch these weapons ever. But I do want you to know that if something happens, how to make sure they are safe. You have to know how to unload these weapons and make them safe if ever need be. He, and I told him, you don't ever have to touch them. You don't ever have to use them. You don't have to even like them at all. But it's best to know how to make them safe. Now, in this day and age, especially in the state of Maine, one out of every five households or something like that number, I don't know the exact number anymore, but think about it. One out of every fire, five homes have a firearm. Now, it's a good chance you might come in contact with a firearm sooner or later, so it's best to know how to make it safe. Safe for you, safe for everyone around. If somebody hands you a weapon, it's best to know how to unload it or at least check to make sure that it is completely safe. That's how accidents happen. It's like, say something bad happens, and in a lot of my courses, they give prime examples of actual events of people getting killed for not properly handling a firearm. People who didn't know anything about firearms picked it up, put their finger in the trigger, and they didn't even mean to put their finger in the trigger. It was just this automatic response, and they did something, and they discharged the firearm, and it killed somebody. Completely accidental. Just recently in Brunswick or whatever, that guy shot his girlfriend. Messing with it in the car, not knowing what he was doing, frigging around acting stupid, and shot her and killed her. It's important to know gun safety. Not just because I don't, I don't want you to be a gun owner if you don't like it. Because if you don't like firearms and you're not going to be safe about it, then you shouldn't even own one. But you should at least know how to be safe with it. One in five, think about it. So sooner or later, you may come into contact. 
And the way this world is going, we're going to hell in a handbag. It's best to know how to properly maintain safety near firearms. Now, if that many people are carrying weapons, it's best to know how to operate them. You don't have to own one. You don't have to carry one. You don't even have to have one in your home. But it should be important to you how to keep your children safe, how to keep your family safe, and how to make sure these things aren't going to be a negative influence. Because guns don't kill people, folks. They don't kill people at all. What kills people is the ignorance and stupidity of all these people who buy them who shouldn't have them. A gun sitting on a counter, and I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this post, will sit there for hours and never kill anyone. A knife doesn't kill anybody. A hatchet doesn't kill anybody. Machetes don't kill people. You put it in the hands of a human being, that's when it gets dicey. In Africa, they don't have many weapons and they have to save their bullets half the time. So they go into these villages, these rogue tribes, and they take these machetes and they chop the shit out of people. But you don't see anyone banning machetes. Here in America, there's a knife, there's a stabbing every few minutes. Think about it. We're not banning knives because if we banned knives, you wouldn't be able to eat. Guns are the same thing. A lot of people in the state of Maine go hunting to fill the freezer. It's not about who's got the biggest or best. It's about being safe. And it's about being aware of how to be safe. So that's my talk on gun safety. Again, it's important to have these things. And for me, it's important because I live out in the middle of, well, I'm, I'm surrounded by a few people, but there is a lot of open area and it's brutally dark at night. My mom's been robbed by drug addicts when she wasn't home. Other people I know have been robbed by drug addicts. There's people who have been beaten. Now, I'm not going against drug addicts because you know what? I'm an addict. I got off the alcohol and so on and so forth. I know it's a horrible problem, but I'm down to myself and my three kids. And I'm not going to have some guy or woman bust into my house or some group of people and try to rob me and not be able to defend myself, especially out here in the middle of nowhere where nobody's going to hear it. I'm going to put a cap in your ass if you bust into my house. I mean, I don't think that will ever happen because I don't do drugs, I don't drink, I don't have any money, and I don't have any high expensive goods here. So if anybody did break in, they'd be breaking in for a little to nothing. But anyways, I'd still be able to protect myself. I'd still be able to at least put a shot into a wall and get them out of my house. So, gun safety, folks. You should at least know how to unload them.